here in the i button and in description box below you will get complete playlist of fourier series welcome to video number 17 and from this video onwards we are going to start a very new topic that is half range series okay very 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 important topic so before i start this video i would request you to subscribe to my channel and if you learn something from my videos then please, please hit the like button and do share the playlist of fourier series with your friends in this way you can support me so let us start with the very first topic that is half range series the, in the question it may ask find the fourier half range cosine series or in the question it may ask uh, find the cosine series okay yes or in other words we can say the question may ask like this or the question may ask like this also like uh, find the fourier sine series or the question may ask like find the fourier half range sine series okay uh, so uh, the procedure that will follow for this type of problem is different and the procedure that we follow for this type of problem is a bit different okay so first we'll, first we will discuss how to solve this type of problem then we will solve we will see what is the uh, right procedure to solve uh, uh, sign series or half range sign series type of problems okay so let us start <clears throat> we are dealing with the topic that is half range series okay it means the value for b minus a must be half okay yes before this okay we have seen that b minus a equals to 2 pi okay it means that series is full range series okay but here in the half range series the value of b minus a will come out to be pi okay so if in the problem it is asked find the fourier half range cosine series in that problem b minus a equals to pi okay or if the problem asked find the Fourier cosine series in that case we will take also that is b minus equals to pi but there are some exception case uh, where it may ask like find the Fourier cosine series and in the uh, uh, interval it will be like b minus a equals to 2 pi okay yes for Fourier cosine series it may ask for this or this but if the question comes like find the Fourier half range cosine series always we will take this type of value okay yes yes so what to do when the question is asked like this okay that is half, half range for cosine series or cosine series yes the Fourier half range cosine series is given by f of x equals to a naught upon 2 plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n into cos n pi x upon b minus a okay yes here we not uh, we need not to find the value of bn okay if the question asks find the half range cosine series or half range uh, or the problem asks like cosine series then we need to find these two only okay yes that is a naught upon 2 plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n cos n pi x upon b minus a okay let's suppose uh, in the problem it is asked find the cosine series okay for your cosine series and the uh, the interval size is 2 pi okay yes question will be not like this half range and b minus a will be 2 pi okay it may be like this okay but for this case it may be like this or this okay yes if it is mentioned okay if it is mentioned for cosine series b minus a equals 2 pi then only we will consider this otherwise we will always take this case okay yes so here for full range series it was to present here but since we are dealing with half range only so here it will be uh, um, n pi x upon b minus a okay yes so f of x equals to a naught upon 2 plus summation n equals to, to infinity a n into cos n pi x upon b minus a fine yes where a naught equals to 2 upon b minus a integration a to b f of x dx okay b minus a okay yes again a n equals to 2 upon b minus a integration a to b f of x cos of this part okay that is cos of n pi x upon b minus a dx now we will see second part yes sine series or half range sine series if in the question it is asked find the Fourier half range sine series then remember one thing that is the interval is half range okay that is b minus equals to pi okay for half range series or sine series okay half, half range sine series or sine series but let's suppose in the question b minus a equals to 2 pi okay yes in that case it will never be like half range okay it will be like sine series okay so for sine series it depends 
it is b minus equals to pi or b minus equals to 2 pi but if it is b minus equals to 2 pi then it will be mentioned clearly okay otherwise we will always take that as half range okay yes the Fourier half range sin series is given by f of x equals to summation n equals to 1 to infinity b n into sin of n pi x upon b minus a okay yes here again you can see we haven't write here 2 okay if you write 2 here then such type of problem r belongs to uh, belongs to full range series but here we are dealing with half range so here 2 is missing okay so here we need to find the value of b n only okay so b n equals to 2 upon b minus a integration a to b f of x sin n pi x upon b minus a dx okay now we will see what are the different problems that we are going to solve in the upcoming videos okay yes this is video number 17 this question is video number 18 19 20 and 21 okay most important problems from this topic okay if you asked out of this fourth question which is most important then i would say last question okay most 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 important problem so this question belongs to cosine series this question belongs to cosine series this question belongs to sine series this question belongs to cosine series okay let us let us start solving problems one by one 